Well, boys, it's an early morning, but today we're headed out to the uh, Mountain Mansion. For the very first time, we just got it built, and I'm super excited to get out there because, uh, well, it's going to be my first time seeing it. Finished. So we're going to go up there, check out the property. I brought some toys along, so we'll have some fun there. I also got a mower in the back, so we may have to do a little bit of yard work, but uh, I guess we'll see when we get up there. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed today's video, help me out by giving that like button a little tap. It helps out the video a ton, and I appreciate it so much. And while you're down there, if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe and help me make videos just like this. So if you want to see more, you know, buttons down there. Well, boys, we've been driving for just over an hour up and down huge mountain roads here, but I do believe this is our driveway, very long one at least, up to our house here. Gotta lay some gravel down here. This is gonna get real slick when it rains. Man, the driveway even takes a little while to get up. And here we are. Look at this place. So I know I said this place was a mansion, which it technically speaking is. The house is very, very nice. And I mean, for what you can get up here all the way up this way, it's, uh, it's it's pretty hard to get big loads of building supplies and stuff so this is kind of what we had to go with here i guess i should probably pull the truck inside the yard here but along with this plot for the house we have loads of other land all around here and then i think if we go just a little bit further down the road there's a second trail all the way down to that big lake over there so if we want to get a boat someday we just head on down there do some boating but the last little while has been spent getting this place completely built everything i want out here may as well check out the house quick now that it's fully finished got a big old fireplace TV is pretty much everything you could ever want inside a house. But before I go show you guys some more cool stuff, if you too really want to have a cool place like this in Farm Sim, then be sure to check out Apex Gaming PCs. Apex Gaming PCs has a wide range of PCs to match your budget and your needs when it comes to gaming, content creation, or basically whatever the heck you need to do. We have the official Awesome Farmer line of PCs that works great for Farm Sim or whatever games you want to play, and you can get an awesome discount using code FARMER. So I'll have them linked down below if you guys want to go check them out. Anyway, back to the video. So as well on the property, we've got a shed here and we ended up bringing up this really old Ford skid steer that's in like immaculate condition. The only thing we're running just a little bit low on right now is firewood. Yeah, I don't think there was any in here too. This is kind of where we're supposed to store it, but currently we ain't got none of the stuff. So we might have to get some of that a little bit later. I know there's some dead trees back that way. And then of course, if we want to come up here in winter, I might store a snowmobile up here or something and then we can clear snow with this. So lots of cool things to do. And some parts of the grass here is looking a little long. So we may get to that a little bit later, but for now, we're going to unload the toys here and go take a little rip around and i'm pretty sure we're gonna leave at least one of these up here because i want something to rip around with if i just come driving up here with my truck so good chance it's gonna be the x3 we'll just park it in this shed here for now to be honest i'm not worried about any of this getting stolen because it is way in the heck out of the way it's up some crazy logging roads that uh well frankly i shouldn't be taking a brand new truck up and if you don't know the trails out here there's no way in heck you're getting out here so i ain't terribly worried but may as well take the uh 2022 outlander for a rip and check out the property so somewhere kind of over here, I eventually want to build some sort of a helipad or something. You know, with being rich, you got a helicopter, so you kind of want something where you can just fly out here and it's chill, it's relaxing. And then if we go down this hill just a little bit, I don't want to go too far. But yeah, there it is. So if we keep going way the heck over this way, there's a full gold mine over here, which is pretty crazy. But even if you manage to get out to that gold mine, there's still no way in heck you're getting to my house because big hills on either side when you try to go up or down and it's completely different roads. So long way away from just about anything i still gotta find that dang trail down to the lake there i know it's way you gotta go way the heck over there and then kind of go down that way and you can just uh launch your boat right into the lake there which would be sweet but i haven't been down that far yet so i guess we may as well take a little drive down there we got time it's still early in the day well we ended up just cutting across country here i got on this logging road here and i believe if you go down just a little further this way right over here here is the lake so only locals really know about this place and uh I guess there's a boat launch somewhere around here. There's a dock. I don't know where at exactly. I'll have to ask one of the guys that's around here. But yeah, so you don't got to worry about some dude flying by in a jet ski and, uh, you know, scaring all your fish away. Mind you, this is a huge lake, so I don't think there's much to worry about. Also, there's an island out there. Let me know if you guys be interested in a video, maybe going out to the island and doing some camping. Of course, I'd have to get a boat first to get out there because I don't think this thing, as much as it likes to float, it's not getting over there. Anyway, it's about lunchtime here, so I'm going to head back up to the cabin there. We'll go grab some lunch. All right, well, that was some good lunch here okay so you know even people with lots of money still have to do some yard work at some point so better get on it i should really get some sort of like a ride on lawnmower out here it'd be a lot nicer than trying to push this thing around but unfortunately i did not have space in the trailer this time so gotta work with this and as far as this property is from civilization i still want to have a clean yard oh boy yeah maybe i really should have brought that zero turn oh i hear a helicopter flying by 
I don't know where it's at though. It's gotta be somewhere around here. I, I literally hear it. You know, a lot of people say when you have one of these properties, you spend more time doing yard work and stuff and fixing the place up than uh, actual relaxing, but I beg to differ. We only gotta do this a couple times a year. Well, maybe a little more than a couple, but I bet it would take about 10 minutes here if I had brought my zero turn. Yeah, live and learn, I guess. Okay, screw this mess. We're just getting the long grass in front of the house and then we're leaving the rest till I get a zero turn out here. This takes way too long. Not to mention who the heck was my landscaper? This is bull crap. Okay, well that should do for now. We'll come back with the zero turn and do a bit more later. I really should have just bought some sort of like a mower for the skid steer here, but oh well. Anyway, I'm gonna go unhook the trailer here and we're gonna go load some firewood up in the bed of this truck. That'll work. Oh, well, this one's looking a little more dead than the rest. Timber. There's a little in the timber, but we'll go with that. Well, here's one tree. This should be all we need for tonight, at least. Might stockpile a bit eventually. I should have took this dang gooseneck hitch out. Can't really fit a lot of logs with that in there. And that should about do it. Strap this down here. Make sure it's nice and secure. Not gonna go nowhere. All right, let's head back to the cabin. Well, now we get to play the fun game of uh, how much wood can we stack in? I don't know how long. However long this takes. I'm just gonna take some of these smaller chunks right on over to the fire pit here. There we go. Use those for later. And that right there is basically uh, all one tree did. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to take this small piece, pass it right over into the uh, little stack of logs we got going here. Oh, you know, I really wish this was here beforehand, but I guess it doesn't hurt to have a stock. I want to fill this entire thing up full of firewood here sooner than later, but I guess we'll see how that goes. We'll just shut this for now. And my truck bed's looking a little dirty here. You got this compressor. Blow that out. Make sure we get all the uh, bark and sawdust out of there. There we go. Now you're probably wondering, Austin, how the heck do you get electricity all the way up here? Well, we have solar panels on that roof, and I think there's some on that roof too. So we've got lots of electricity. Toss that one over there too. May as well while we're at it. I don't know if some of y'all noticed this, but this is actually a Ford skid steer. I didn't know that Ford even made skid steers until I bought this thing, and turns out they do. I can't remember from what exact years, but uh, this thing's pretty cool. I'm just thinking there's quite a bit of a dip right here at this fire pit area and i have a bit of gravel left from the foundation of this house so we might actually get to use the skid steer today and we'll just smooth that out a little bit with there and this thing actually cruises i haven't really had a chance to use this much other than uh just around the house when we were starting construction there but that's about it that should work oh boy that is that is really heavy for this thing how high can we go oh, oh oh okay we're tipping i don't want to lose any of this gravel here it's expensive to get a dump truck load full of this stuff all the way up here i find it interesting how this is a super Super old skid steer and it's got these warning labels. I don't know how much of this is actually going to fill this up here, but we'll try our best. Eh, I mean, it's working a little bit. I'd go just dig some dirt from the hillside here, but uh, yeah, this thing doesn't really have the power to do that. So we're just going to have to do this for now. May as well put the rest of this gravel to some good use. This thing's even got pretty big weights on the back and it's still tippy. Oh, crap. Oh, this kind of worked a little bit. We'll leave it for now. I guess it's better than nothing in there. I should probably put some gravel around just here too, but we'll get to that a little bit later. By the way, I just want to say huge props to Elk Mountain modding for this cabin here. It looks absolutely amazing. And I believe as of recording this or as of when I'm recording this is actually available on all platforms. So if you guys want to go check it out, whether you're on PC or Xbox or PlayStation or whatever, it should be on there. Anyway, I'm just going to chill out here, enjoy my time out of the cabin. So hope you all enjoyed. Subscribe and goodbye.